Okay, well, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Professor Greg Gordon. I'm the head of the law school here at the University of Aberdeen. I always feel when somebody gives me a handheld microphone that there's some sort of expectation that I'll burst into song, but don't worry, I'm not going to be doing that. Um, it's, it's a great pleasure to welcome you all to Aberdeen. Um, this is, I think, the second significantly sized conference that I've opened, uh, organized uh, by, by the law school since the, since the COVID period. And it really is a, a pleasure to be able to put those sorts of days behind us and to, and to start to meet again in, in person. So it really is a great pleasure to welcome you all here. Um, Aberdeen recently went through um, a long-term planning exercise uh, and we came up with the Aberdeen 2040 vision um, and really full square um, in the center of that planning exercise um, are two things. Firstly, interdisciplinarity and secondly, uh, as a major theme, uh, data and artificial intelligence. I know we're not the only university to be focusing on these things, and nor should we be, because um, these are some of the major challenges that we, that we face. But it's really good um, to be able to uh, welcome you all to a conference which really kind of hits so, uh, hits so well, hits so cleanly um, some of the things that the university um, is taking uh, such an interest in. So the conference is entitled Law in the Future. Predicting the future is, of course, a slightly hazardous exercise. Many predictions turn out, to be, turn out to be incorrect or innovations that we anticipate will, will happen sometimes take a lot longer to happen than was, than was predicted. But failing to at least make any sort of attempt to predict the future is also um, a hazardous business. Um, universities, legal systems that fail to anticipate the future, fail to think about it, uh, run the serious risk of being left behind. Um, and a, a legal system like, or a legal, um, a legal um, culture like, like uh, the Scottish legal system, um, being a small system, there's always a risk of parochialism, and it's particularly important, therefore, to fight against that, to have an eye towards the future, and by doing that, um, to hopefully at least keep up with developments, um, and perhaps also one of the benefits of the smallness being the, uh, the, the nimbleness that comes with that, potentially have uh, a leadership role in the future. There are many people that need to be thanked for, uh, for, bringing, this, uh, uh, for bringing this event to fruition. Um, I would like to thank in advance um, all of the speakers and the chairs um, at these sessions today and tomorrow. I would very much like to thank the whole organizing committee. I won't stand here and just li read out the list of names, but they are listed um, on the, the final page of your, of your conference, conference brochure. So I'd very much like to, to thank uh, all of the organizing committee, uh, and also uh, Georgi Chekhov, uh, who has provided administrative support um, here at the University of Aberdeen. So I'd just like to say to everybody, welcome to Aberdeen. It is predictably cold, um, but at least, at least agreeably bright. So we've got, we've got that side of things uh, um, going for us at least. Um, I see looking at the, the brochure that we've got speakers from all over Scotland. I think that's a wonderful thing um, you know, to see this network really so well established. But I am particularly pleased to see that we have um, contributors from outside of Scotland um, as well. Uh, and I extend, uh, I extend uh, a particular welcome to them. So without any further ado, um, I'm very pleased to, to declare this session open and as I'm probably the person in the room who knows least about law in the future and managing the increased resort to technology I don't intend to take up any more of your time so thank you very much indeed
conference. We really appreciate that. And I leave the floor now to, uh, well, you probably know him already, Guido Notoladiega, the founder of the Scottish Law and Innovation Network. So, uh, Guido, the floor is yours. Thank you. Co-founder with Rosanna, obviously, and uh, Martin Kretschmer from Glasgow. Uh, thank you, for Professor Gordon, for uh, opening the conference. We're very grateful. This is an important event uh, for us. It brings to a close two years of hard work, uh, intensive and often intense uh, work, but I think it was worth it um, at, because I think we, we did bring together uh, and created links, connections, synergies between, I think, all of the universities in Scotland virtually, um, plus uh, professionals, um, civil society, uh, really anyone with a passion for uh, law and technology. And even though this is the end of the uh, funding uh, of the Royal Society of Edinburgh, uh, I don't think this is the end for, uh, for Scotland. I think we will keep going uh, strong. Uh, I'm delighted that the conference is in Aberdeen, uh, the Granite City. It is beautiful today. Uh, it really, uh, it was a great advice that Rosanna gave me to sit on the right hand of the train coming from uh, Glasgow. The, the view was just uh, breathtaking. Um, and Aberdeen as a university, university has contributed a lot to uh, this network. Obviously, Rosanna as uh, co-founder and deputy coordinator, but also most of the organizing committee of this conference uh, is from Aberdeen. Uh, I want to mention Kian Kai, uh, Patricia Zivkovic, uh, Eren Kuzigu, uh, Burko Yuxel Ripley, and Nevena Jevremovic. Sorry. Uh, but also colleagues from other universities across Scotland, Lorna Gillis from Edinburgh Napier, Arletta Goreska from Strathclyde, Sher Warden from Stirling, and also people not from universities like uh, Matt Jewell from uh, Amicus. Uh, I want to thank all of the speakers, moderators, and uh, attendees, RSE for generous funding. And I'm really looking forward to a lot of very cool papers uh, that give us a sense of the amazing research that's being carried out uh, here in Scotland, but also beyond Scotland. We have some uh, friends who are visiting from the US and uh, from Mexico and all over the world. Uh, we're going to talk about regulation of drones, robots, the IoT, innovation, uh, innovative legal education, AI, IP competition, data rights, and much, much more. And I'm also looking forward to our general assembly where we can maybe take stock of what we've achieved and start thinking about what's, uh, what's ahead. So thank you very much for, uh, for being here. And I think we can start with the first session. Thank you.